hello hello beautiful people what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm casey and if you are new please take one second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you don't miss when i post a new video okay so if you are not caught up on the hair click the link up there but today we're going to be talking skin so i am going to be showing you guys my at home facial routine this is like pretty much what I do to keep my skin up in between my esthetician appointments. I do go to an esthetician once every two months. I used to go once a month, but now that my skin is like looking like this, <laughs> I don't really have to go as often. So usually at least once a month or in between my sessions that I go to every two months, I like to do this routine that really just helps to keep my skin on 10. But before we get into it, I just hopped out the shower and I just wanted to share with you guys a new product from Osea. If you guys saw my like rushed get ready with me that I did a few weeks back, then you know that I love the body oil and now they have a new body butter. I've been using it now for the past couple days and I'm obsessed. I just put it on now and you can see my skin is just looking so soft and glowy so huge shout out to Osea for sponsoring today's video. The chest glow that you guys are going to see throughout the video is catered by Osea. The texture is super thick and rich. It's actually clinically proven to hydrate your skin up to 72 hours. And again, it uses their powerhouse ingredient, the Undaria algae, which is really, really, really hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. They actually consider it age-defying skincare for your body because it helps with tightening the skin, firming the skin, and also just reducing the look of crippiness. I also really like it because it's super fast absorbing. So what I like to do sometimes is actually apply the Undaria body oil on my skin first. And then I can apply this on top to seal it all in. Some of my favorite ingredients that are in it are the whipped shea butter. Of course, the unique Undaria algae. It has ceramides, which are really good for encouraging stronger, more elastic skin. And all of Osea's products are cruelty-free, vegan, and they're made here in the US and California. I'm definitely more of a night shower girl. Like I love to take showers at night and this just leaves me wrapped and feeling so soft when I lay down on my sheets. So if you guys are interested to try it out, I do have a 10% off coupon code. I'm going to put the link down below for you guys to check it out. And now let's get into this facial, honey. All right, so first thing I am going to do is put on my cleansing cuffs. So these are from Shop LA Beautyologist. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's like your friendly neighborhood esthetician as she goes by. I love these because they help to make sure that water doesn't drip down while I'm cleansing. This is actually also from Shop Ellie Videologist. So I'll put the link to both of these down below for you guys. So I first just like to cleanse my skin and I like to use my Vanity Planet steamer. So I just fill up the facial steamer with a little bit of water and then I'm going to cleanse with a cleansing balm instead of a regular cleanser because I like to help make sure that my skin is still like hydrated a little bit before I go in with the dermaplaning tool. I feel like steaming before dermaplaning really just helps the hair on the skin to become a little bit softer, more movable. It also helps you get a deeper cleanse as well. So I'm using the John Masters Organic Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. It's so good and I don't have on makeup today but I do like to use this to remove makeup as well. It gets rid of everything and it leaves my skin feeling nice and soft. Because the dermaplaning tool can be a little bit harsh on the skin, so using a cleansing balm first helps your skin to just have a little bit more bounce um, and validity to it instead of using a really harsh cleanser. Okay, so just rinsed off the oil cleanser. Well, the cleansing balm. I just love how soft my skin feels after using it. Like, ugh. okay, so now we can get into the dermaplaning. I'm going to be using this Dermaflash tool. It actually comes with a bunch of blades. So literally all you have to do is slide it and then pull it out. I'm struggling, but you slide it and then pull it out and then the blades attached to it. So you never have to touch the blade, which I love. Some people like to Dermaplane on dry skin. I like to put a little bit of oil on my skin just because I feel like it helps to make it a lot smoother. So I'm going to use the Lord Jones Pore Detox CBD Face Oil. You can use any facial oil of your choice, or you could even use a facial serum. It's gonna take a few drops, not touching my skin with the dropper, of course. Oh. And I'm just going to kind of rub that in. This oil is also really good if you have really congested skin, which is another reason why I like using it um, during my facial routine, because I feel like it also helps to give my pores a little pick-me-up. All right, so this is pretty simple to use. All you have to do is pull down on the skin and then shave like you're shaving your face and just
look at all the hair that just came off that one section. And this not only helps to get rid of the hair and the peach fuzz, but it also helps to gently exfoliate your skin so that your products absorb better, which I think is a major, major, major reason why my skin has been looking so good because I pretty much keep it hairless. I also get a derma plane when I go to my esthetician and I think that it's had a tremendous effect on how well my skincare products work. So I'm going to focus so I don't cut myself <laughs> and just let you guys watch me shave my face. Over time, dermaplaning can also really help with um, acne scars and stuff because you're constantly getting rid of that dead layer of skin. So I couldn't recommend it enough because it's so good. That's the reason why I actually bought this tool so that I could do this at home whenever I'm not going to the esthetician. Cause y'all know I live in Fort Lauderdale now and my esthetician is all the way in Miami, like almost downtown Miami. So it's kind of far. I also like to do my lip. Cause your girl has a mustache. And I'm sure I'm gonna get asked this. No, the hair on the skin does not grow back thicker. If anything, I feel like it grows back a lot slower and thinner. It also doesn't matter what direction you go in. As long as you're pulling the skin taut, you can go down, you can go up. And it's not as sharp as the professional dermal planing tool. So it's so easy, like it's so easy. So after dermal planing, I do like to cleanse my skin one more time just to get rid of any hairs or anything that's on it. And my current favorite is the You To The People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I don't like to use a cleanser that has any active ingredients or anything harsh because dermaplaning does like literally chop off the top layer of your skin. So the skin's a little bit sensitive. So this cleanser is perfect. And even as I'm cleansing my skin, it feels so soft. Like with the Dermaflash, the results are pretty much instant, which I love. And we're back with clean hairless skin. So after derma planning, I do also like to do some type of hydrating mask. I actually focus more on hydration post derma planning. And again, like stay away from too many products with active ingredients because I don't want to over irritate my skin. So I'm going to use this Vital Hydra Solution face mask from Dr. Jart. This is actually my first time using this specific sheet mask, but like I said, any hydrating mask works super well after derma planning. And what I love about sheet mask too is that it actually doubles as a serum so after you take it off you can just massage the excess into your skin instead of having to rinse it off and it feels so cooling on my skin too which feels really good after exfoliating the dermal planning tool while this is on i'm actually going to do a quick lip scrub if you've been following me for a little while i can't take myself seriously like this if you've been following me for some time, you know that I absolutely love the Lush, um, <laughs> oh my God, it's falling down. I absolutely love the Lush lip scrubs, but I just recently tried this Frank Body lip scrub and it's so good. I like my lip scrubs to have a little, you know, tug in them. I hate when lip scrubs or just any scrubs don't have like, they're just smooth and soft. Like I would like it to be a little rough, you know? I'm just going to scrub this on. Oh. I'm not really a coffee fan, but, and I'm just gonna let this sit on here while I wear the mask for the next 15 minutes and then I'll just rinse it off after. Okay, so I just rinsed off the lip scrub and now I'm just gonna press in the extra serum from this mask into my skin. I just also love how cooling it feels. Like, oh my, oh my goodness. All right, so the serum is fully pressed in. My skin is giving bouncy. So I'm going to apply one more serum. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. This has some amazing ingredients in it, okay? And this is a this is a serum that does everything. So it has niacinamide that helps with dark spots. It has peach extract, uh, wild yam, peptides, hyaluronic acid, just so many great things that are going to help hydrate, firm, and just, help with the skin texture overall. And although it does have niacinamide, which is a slight active ingredient, because I already put on the hydrating mask, 
my skin is not going to be irritated by it at all. So if you do choose to put on any type of active ingredients after dermaplaning, just make sure that you put on something hydrating first so that way the product that you put on top will not only penetrate better, but it will also kind of mesh with the hydrating product and be a little bit less on the skin. For my eye cream, I'm gonna use the Shiny Darted Intensive Eye Renewal Cream, my favorite eye cream, especially for the nighttime. It's super thick and when I wake up, my eyes don't look crazy. <laughs> and over time, it also helps with dark circles, um, puffiness, highly, highly recommend, and black owned at Sephora. Okay. And to press the serum deeper into my skin, I'm just using this roller from Satchu. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is also really cooling on my skin after doing the dermaplaning. So anything to help reduce inflammation and also get these um, other products pressed into my skin. What I love about the stainless steel like, rollers like this is that they pretty much naturally stay cold. It's so good. All right, to moisturize, I'm going to use my all-time favorite. This is the Lord Jones Whole Plant Formula Acid Mantid Repair CBD Moisturizer. I also credit like a lot of my skin improvement to this product because I've been using it now for over a year consistently. It is so good. Like it is, it's so good. Especially if you have um, a disrupted skin barrier or if your skin is really irritated or if you've over exfoliated, like this moisturizer will get your skin back, okay? And now I pretty much just use it to maintain my moisture barrier. And every time I use it, like it does it for me. It does it for me. I typically don't use it in the morning because it is a thicker moisturizer, but it absorbs into the skin so well. Like I probably could use it in the morning. I just choose to only use it at night. I'm also gonna put on another skin barrier strengthening product. This is the Stravectin Super B Barrier Strengthening Oil. So good, again, it has vitamin B3, uh, prebiotics. Another great product for calming the skin after doing dimmer planning or exfoliating and also just helping to maintain your skin barrier overall. I have noticed that since I've taken the health of my skin barrier more seriously, my skin has been healthier. My skin also just bounces back from issues a lot quicker. So if I break out, like the breakouts go away faster, the dark marks go away faster. So if you aren't including any products in your routine that are designed to help strengthen your skin barrier or maintain a healthy skin barrier, which is the outermost layer of your skin, Definitely do that. Definitely do that. <laughs> so next I'm going to use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and I actually love this mask, but this is their limited edition peppermint one. So I'm so excited to try this out. I love anything peppermint, especially on my lips. I'm gonna take a little bit on the little lip applicator. And if you have dry lips, like you need this lip mask in your life. I know you've seen people talk about it, I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm kind of hoping this tingles. Oh, it's tingling. The other flavor lip mask from Laneige or Laneige, they don't tingle, but this one's peppermint, so it's tingling. All right, guys, get into the skin, get into the glow. Okay. So along with all of the face stuff that I've applied onto my skin, I don't like to credit all of you know, the glow to the products because a lot of your skin health has to do with your real life health. <laughs> so of course, I drink a lot of water. Again, I go to my esthetician once every two months. I make my mental health a huge priority in my life because in order for me to show up the way that I need to, I gotta be good and it helps my skin because the happier I am, the more it shows on my skin. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put all the links to the products that I mentioned down below. Let me know if you guys try out the new Ungaria Algae Body Butter, if you like it, if you don't like it. I'm just gonna smell it. It smells so good and fresh. Like it reminds me of being in like an ocean with algae. <laughs> all right, that's it you guys. I will see you in the next one.